Hi, my name is Shay Schofield, and I'm back again today with part three of our hearts bottle cap collage that we're working on. Today we're going to add some text to our hearts. So I want to start by opening our file that we've been working on by hitting File, Open Recently Edited File, and the Hearts Background Circles is what I had named it here. So we've got that open. And we're going to just add some text. Now, before I get started, I want to go ahead and flatten our image and we had talked about that um, right now this is a bunch of different layers here what we want to do by flattening is putting it in, into one layer now I want to make sure that you understand once you flatten an image you cannot edit it okay for instance let's say I want to go back and recolor these hearts let's say I want white hearts with red outline and I want to put red letters on it well once I flatten that image I can't go back and change the color of my hearts I can now because it hasn't been flattened but we have just saved this as an unflattened, so we still have that. I'm going to go ahead and flatten this now. After we add the letters, we're going to go ahead and, and flatten it. So again, like I said, if you're, you can save it for both. You can save it before you flatten it and then after you flatten it. That's, that's the best way to do it. That way, if you want to go back and use it for something else, you can. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten this one by selecting the layer up top and then flatten the image down here at the bottom of the pull down menu. Okay, I've got it flattened and I'm going to go over here and click on this big T over here. It says horizontal type tool. It's our text tool. I want to go ahead and click on that. Now up top you'll see the little um, uh, boxes um, where it's got your font. I have mine set on curls MT. Uh, the next box is on regular and I've got it set for a 20 point which I want to change that to a 36 point just click on the little down arrow next to it and choose the 36 point. Now I wanted to tell you there's a, a box right next to that that's got two A's in it. You want to make sure that that is highlighted. You can put your little cursor over it click on it. It'll be light gray if it's not on and dark gray if it is on. And what that does is it makes your um, text smoother so you don't see the pixels. Uh, so you want to make sure that that's on. And I want to show you this next T is your bold and we'll be, I'll should be showing you how to use that because when you have your letters on this sheet, they look best bolded. Uh, again, here's your color box over here at the top that we used on the hearts. I have mine set on white. If you want to change that, just click on the white part, the color that it is. Yours might be a different color right now. And set it to the color that you want by clicking in the box and moving around. Again, if you just want white, just go down here to the bottom and key in all Fs since that's the code for white and then just push OK. I'm just going to push cancel because mine was already set for white. Okay with my text box selected I'm going to go on up here and I'm going to put my cursor in the top left corner of the heart and press my left mouse button down, drag to the right and drag down. That's going to give me a box. I'm going to make sure that my caps lock key is on because I am doing the uppercase letters and I'm just going to hit my A. Now you could not work your bold button up here earlier. You have to select your text first. If yours is not in bold, select your text and then push the button. Here I'm going to show you what it looks like unbolded. That's unbolded. It doesn't look very good. So I'm going to bold it, make it look better. And then I'm going to make sure that my um, selection, my move tool over here that we talked about earlier is on so that I can nudge my little A here in, into place. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this again by right clicking on the layer over here and push the, the duplicate, make a duplicate copy, and then push OK, I don't name it, and we're just going to move this over. If you're having trouble moving, make sure, like I said, that your selection tool is, is on over here so that you can, you can highlight the selection that you want and move it. Again, we're going to copy that and move it over. Okay, when you got all your A's down, then I go back and I put my cursor, see it made a blue box, and then just double click, and then I just change it to a B. I do the same over here, click on it, blue box, then double click, change it to a C, and I'll do that all the way down. Then I'll go back and highlight it. Now you can do this all at once on each letter and be done with each letter, or you can do it in stages like I do it, and then just nudge it um, into the center. All of them get into the center there. Um, I did want to tell you um, the H 
I did have to resize the H. It seemed a little bit big. Let me just change this here to an H and show you. It looked really big. See, it's kind of going off the heart. What I did was I just highlighted it and I go back up here to where it says 36 point and I just highlighted the 36 point and I put 30 in and push my enter key. The reason I did not select it from the pull down menu is you can, well there is a 30 point on this one, maybe it's the 20 point I'm thinking about, there wasn't one. You can use the pull down menu and put 30 point. And then I'm just going to nudge that, of course it's it. This first one is going to be A through O. When you get all those done, and you make copies, change your letters, get them centered, you're going to want to save it. Do not flatten it. Okay, I want to make sure I tell you that. Do not flatten this before you save it. The reason is because when we go on in the next video to do our page two, all we're going to do is bring this one back up, highlight the letters, and change them. And I'm going to show you a couple other things to do. We're going to add a couple words to the hearts, and we're going to add... Um, another little heart on here and I'll show you how to do that on the second video and I'll also be showing you how to save these in JPEG format so make sure you watch it. Uh, anyhow we're back here we're gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna pull up um, file save as and I'm, I'm just gonna um, I have actually done this video earlier and could not condense it into less than 10 minutes so I've already got one of these saved so I'm just gonna make up a new name um, Hearts, Hearts Collage, page one. Make sure you put page one in there somewhere so that you know that. And then just save it. Okay. So we've got this saved and it's not flattened. And we're going to go ahead and continue on this into the part four. So I'm going to go ahead and close right here and let you work on that. So I hope you check back. And um, just have fun with your work. Thank you. Bye-bye.